Hi, I'm Elijah Roberts, a civil technical specialist here at ATG USA. And in this session, we'll be talking about profile basics. And that is to say that it is an introduction to the objects that are profiles and profile views. It's important to understand really early on that profiles are a sub entity of alignments, meaning you cannot have a profile without having an alignment of some sort. In fact, when you are creating a profile, whether it be of a surface or a proposed one, you will have to assign which alignment it's going to be tied to. This then later will allow you to sort through the list of profiles by using the alignment as a sorting tool. Also, there are going to be two terms that we use frequently, and that is profile and profile view. Now, those two terms sound similar, but they do have quite of a bit of a difference to them. The profile is actually an elevation data, whether it's proposed or a surface. In fact, I have a couple here that I can point out. The dotted blue line is my existing ground profile or a surface profile. And the green line here happens to be my proposed profile. As I said, this is actual elevation data that we are working with. The profile view is the grid and all the text around it. So if I select on this, I'm selecting the profile grid view or the profile view. If you ever are requested to select the profile view for any of the tools that you are using, you can select on any of the grid lines or any of the text or the band data down below. That is the profile view. I should also mention that down at the bottom, here is the band information. This is elevation and station information that goes along with the grid. Another term you will hear quite often around profiles and profile views. Now, I've also mentioned this already, but I'm going to call out a difference here between the surface profiles and the proposed profiles. Now, surface profiles can be of existing conditions, but it can also be surface from your proposed corridors, depending on how far into your design you are. So surface profiles can be of existing conditions or proposed data. The green data is actually the design data or design profile. This is information that you've built yourself. It's something that you didn't get from a surface. And if you click on it, you will see a series of grip points. They are highlighted for editing. I hit escape to let go of that. And if I go to the surface profile, you notice there are no grip points available. That's because it's getting its data from an actual surface somewhere. Finally, we need to discuss the fact that profiles are a key element of elevation in your design, whether that be from the baseline of the design or starting point where your design is starting from or as a target from a baseline. Now, what that means is if it's a baseline, I'm starting my cross section assembly design portion from where the profile is located. So the elevation here is where it's starting and the elevations will compute. As you go away from the center line, from that baseline, you could also target one of these profiles for your design for elevation changes. So if you've got a lane that needs to change an elevation through an area of a long period of transition of some sort, you can draw in a profile that identifies or defines that transition and then target it. It would look very similar to the design profile here, although you know you're using it for design purposes. You can also target surface profiles as a design function. It just depends on how you are using your assemblies in your overall design.